Hey guys, Demtech here, and today I have a review of the 15 inch unibody MacBook Pro. This is the late 2011 refresh. This features a quad core i7 processor which runs at 2.2 GHz. It has 4 GB of DDR3 memory, a high gloss LCD screen with 1440x900 resolution, which makes it really great for watching movies, playing games even just word processing because it makes the words the letters really crisp really easy to read and everything's just super clear the only downfall is that it is high gloss so you do if you are in the sunlight it's very hard to use but being as i don't really use it outdoors that's not a problem for me but for some people it might be so that is really the only one of the few problems i have with this computer first i'll talk about construction this thing is just under an inch thick um, and it goes, it's 14.5 by 10 inches. Uh, it's really well built. It's machined from a solid block of anodized aluminum, which means that there will be no warping, breaking pieces, or annoying seams that you have to deal with. It's a little heavier than your average PC, weighing in at 5.6 pounds, although I find that it's surprisingly light given that it does feature a full metal construction. Another thing that adds to the weight is the glass that lays over the screen to protect it. There's a glass layer over the LCD. So that could you could be looking upon that as a negative because it does add a little bit of weight. But I'd say it's actually really nice because you don't have to worry about scratching the LCD when you clean it. And you can really use most general household products such as Windex uh, or just rubbing alcohol. Since there is no coating on it and it is glass, you can clean it just like you would a window, which makes it much easier. You don't have to worry about scratching it. So it's definitely helps. It's convenient for me. Um, Another one of my favorite things is the keyboard. It has really low-lying keys, which makes it really easy to type on, and it feels really smooth to the touch. They're backlit, as you can see, which you can see that the keys are backlit, which means that when it's nighttime and you're typing, you don't need to have the screen really bright to see it because it doesn't have to reflect from the screen. So you can have the screen even off. Just, just to show you guys an example, and you can still see the keys. comes up really nicely in the night, uh, so it makes it really easy to work any time of the day, and so that's a good feature. Uh, another thing that I really like is the trackpad. It has an all-glass touch surface, so it's really big, and what's cool about it is that it's all one big button. So there's, there's no little button to get crumbs caught under or anything. This is just one big glass button with a really nice touchpad. There are really nice multi-gesture, like you use multi-gestures in the new operating system Lion, which is really cool. Uh, makes it really easy to use and I really like it. The nice thing about the glass trackpad is that whereas others are plastic, you will notice wear over time. This is glass and you won't notice any wear, so for however long you have your computer, it will be just as you first took it out of the computer, uh, took it out of the bag. So it is, it's always going to stay nice and not experience any wear. So about the big button, anywhere you click from about a third of the way down from the top, it functions as one button. So it makes it really easy to do whatever you're doing um, instead of trying to find the button. I want to talk about the battery. The battery is actually really good. It, uh, the battery is non-removable, non-user removable, but you can get it, bring it to Apple and get it serviced if you want. So I'm just going to show you guys the bottom of the MacBook Pro is one solid piece here with screws around the outside. And you can take it off at home and do stuff. With, if you want, you can do RAM upgrades or upgrade your hard drive. It is a little more work, but it's really not bad, being as it does dissipate the heat better, and it's a much cleaner feel also. So, again, the battery's really good. I generally get about four and a half hours to five hours out of it just on Wi-Fi, word processing, uh, multitasking, doing, doing my homework and whatnot. Um, so that's that. And it also charges really fast. Uh, in about an hour and a half, I get a full charge. The MagSafe adapter is right there. So that's where you charge. All right, now I want to talk to you guys about the ports. As you can see, there is a gigabit Ethernet port here a FireWire 800 port, mini display and Thunderbolt port, which is new on these these uh, new MacBook Pros, 
as of early 2011, I believe. Thunderbolt is Apple's transfer mechanism, which gets up to 10 gigabytes a second, which I'm not sure if it'll really go that fast, but that's what they say it does. It's got two USB 2.0 ports, an SD card slot, audio in and audio out. So one negative about this computer is that there is no USB 3.0. These are USB 2.0 ports. 3.0 is the newest USB technology, which gets, I believe, up to 800 megabytes a second, whereas this only gets 480, which I'm not sure why Apple hasn't jumped on the bandwagon yet and upgraded to USB 3.0, because there are tons of accessories that use that, and it's the same port and everything. It's just it's slightly different. Same design, though. So it would fit, it's just that they decided to come out with a Thunderbolt. So that doesn't limit you to using mainly, if you want high speeds, using FireWire hard drives because they um, are faster than the USB. And many, the Thunderbolt hard drives, the few that there are, are very expensive. One cool feature that this computer has is automatic graphics switching. What this means is that for times when you're not running graphics intensive applications uh, like Pages or iTunes, it's going to use an integrated Intel HD 3000 graphics card with 348 megabytes of memory. But when you are performing graphics intensive applications, uh, doing graphics intensive tasks such as rendering or you're playing a game or watching high definition videos, it'll automatically switch to another graphics card and this is going to be the AMD Radeon 6750M graphics card and that has 512 megabytes of memory as opposed to the integrated one the Intel HD 3000 that has only 348 so although it is a step up I find that 512 megabytes is really not enough in today's uh, age of technology when you compare it to some of the other computers out there which cost much less or even some of their older models it's you really think that they would have stepped it up by now. I mean, it's not made for playing games, but I would have liked a little bit of a better graphics card. But that's alright, because I don't really use it for playing games that much, and it, it suffices. So, I think I forgot to show you guys this little HD camera up here. They used to call this the iSight, but now it's called the FaceTime camera for the new application that came out, FaceTime. It's like video chatting for Mac. And you can barely see it up there. I'm not sure if you guys can up oh, you see yeah I'm not sure if you guys can really see it that well on your screen but I really can't either it's very small it fits in with the black here and when you're video chatting with someone or using your computer it's not staring you in the face like some of those desktop monitors have these massive video cameras on the front this is so discreet that I don't even notice it uh, just a couple more things there is a CD drive here with a Kensington lock so you can keep your computer secure. There's also a camera up here. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. This used to be called the iSight camera. It is now called the FaceTime camera. This is an HD camera for video chatting, recording videos, anything like that. What's really nice about it is that they made it almost invisible, made it a lot less noticeable than other cameras I've seen. It's flush, there's no break in the glass, they didn't put, you know, any extra material there. It's still right under this glass pane here. It's very discreet, and when I'm using it, I almost don't notice it's there. So that's a really nice touch. Right on the computer right now, it does not come black, it's actually a silver computer as you can see here. But this black is actually a spec case I bought for it, it's a spec see-through satin case. I have a video review on this if you'd like to see it. And my next video will be a video of the Moshi ClearGuard keyboard protector, which I'm very excited to get in the mail. Just hoping they send it out soon. So then I can do a review for you guys after using it a little bit, do an un unboxing, and a couple weeks later I'll do a review. And I guess that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. Please rate. Uh, positive and negative is also appreciated, so just please make sure to tell us what we did wrong so we can improve. Because since we're still new, we do need to know whether, you know, what our, our problems are and how we can make them better so that you guys have a more enjoyable watching experience. 
So rate, subscribe, comment, send us a message if you need help with anything or if you have any questions, and that's it. So Gemtech, signing out. Enjoy, guys.